So now we're on to games where I finally made, you know, actually made some notes. Uh, Kings, I mean Kings, 76 is against the Knicks, right? Uh, game one in New York, which I mean they once again were chanting "fuck Trey Young," like, come on, dogs. That's just, uh, bruh, <laughs> bruh. That's the word. But I gotta say, right, Joel Embiid was sensational. Joel Embiid was goddamn sensational, and the difference it made when he had to exit the game after that scary fall was huge. And like I talked about when he returned before the playoffs, I'm not sure if it made sense to return this season. Just get healthy for next year, uh, maybe for the Olympics, so you can have a gold medal on your resume. And rest that knee, man. I know he's just been injury prone. He wants to tough it out. It's he's fine, quote, quote unquote. But it just feels like malpractice at this point. He's clearly not moving well most of the time. Even though he did move much better today before that tweak. Uh, so I guess you could say if he didn't have a bad tweak on an incredible play, he might have been fine. I don't know. I don't know. But. At the end of the day, I would have just sat him this year, to be quite honest with you. I don't think the Sixers have enough even with him. I think they're, I think they're either uh, uh, Tobias Harris, uh, you know, being gone away move, or, I mean, somebody like Paul George coming there in the offseason move uh, away from a title contention perspective. Um, and yeah, the Nicolas Batum magic was off today. He was pretty much non-existent. Uh, and without Embiid, they got absolutely crushed on the boards. And even Embiid had just eight rebounds, right? 55 rebounds for the Knicks. They were just relentless on the boards. And I got to give them props. 23 offensive rebounds. That's all of the heart and effort from them. And Mitchell Robinson was the X-Factor with Miles McBride off the bench today. I talked about Mitchell Robinson in the preview yesterday where I... Thought he could be really huge if Hartenstein's having a bad game. And guess what? Hartenstein had a bad game one. And Mitchell Robinson picked him up picked him up off the bench with 30 minutes. 8 points, 12 rebounds, 4 blocks. Sensational game from him and he was hustling his heart out, man. A really good game from him. And Miles McBride was out there sniping. He was sensational. Uh, picked his spots well. Showed really good confidence in himself. 21 points. Really sensational game from him. Uh, and they picked up the slide for Dante DiVincenzo, right? And for Jalen Brunson, who was off today. Uh, I also like Bogdan Bogdanov Bojan Bogdanovic getting more minutes today and his overall effort, especially early on, where I think he did really well. Uh, he didn't shoot as efficiently, but he picked them up when they needed him to, needed them, needed him to in the first quarter or first half. And Jalen Brunson thought was forcing it a little bit too much. But at the end of the day, he's relentless, and I love that about him. He's relentless. He's gonna make. He's gonna take those shots, even if he's not making them. Uh, and you know he'll give you at least one clutch shot at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. And OG Ananobi, eleven points, just ten shot attempts. I thought the shot distribution was quite interesting, but at the end of the day, it worked out well. Um, and the Knicks need to work on those floaters, to be quite honest with you, right? Uh, They'll, they will be need, they'll need to make those floaters heading into game two with Embiid playing because uh, with Embiid in there they were not able to get anything in the paint pretty much uh, and the paint was really swarmed so that does not help Jalen Brunson get to his favorite spots on the floor which I thought uh, I thought the Sixers defended incredibly they incre incredibly they just defended those spots defend defended those spots incredibly and um. Uh, it was thanks to a great three-point shooting from everyone else, right, that picked up Jalen Brunson today. And obviously when Embiid was not there, they were, they were just able to take advantage of that a lot, which helped. And part of my other early, early notes was, can Josh Hart give you enough on offense? And guess what he did? <laughs> 22 and 13 rebounds. He was sensational in the fourth quarter. Four of eight from the three-point line. You don't expect him to take and make the same amount like he did today. But if he's giving you, I don't know, 22 is a lot. But right, don't take DiVincenzo gave you eight. If, he gives, if he's giving you enough offensively, like, I don't know. Hmm. If he makes two three-pointers at least a game and doesn't take eight of them, I think Josh Hart is the X-Factor at the end of the day, right? And... Hmm, 
the bench, like I said, played with really good confidence. Tobias, that is was awful. I was one of my notes. Uh, I thought the Sixers also went away from Tyrese Max a little bit too much. He had 26 shot attempts, but uh, I thought, yeah, I thought he didn't take enough shots in the fourth quarter uh, when it mattered the most. It was a lot of Embiid, tough mid-rangers that I didn't like. And I don't know who else took some shots, but not enough Tyrese Maxi for my liking with the way he was going in this game uh, in the fourth quarter. But I mean, he plays 44 minutes, so maybe he was tired also. Might be the case. Uh, but he was getting some really good looks from the three-point line. He needs to be, I would say, more lethal. Three of nine is solid, but with the looks he was getting, I think he will need to be a little more efficient of those. So he forces the defense to readjust that because it's not like uh, the Knicks were leaving him open a little too open from time to time, but they might that might just be me. That was my perspective. And uh, Kyle Lowry had a really good game. Shout out to Kyle Lowry, man. He was a f he was great today. He made a big so many big shots for the Sixers today, but it was enough because Joel Embiid obviously went down uh, for <clears throat> for the end of the second quarter where the Knicks made their run and. I thought he looked a little, of course, worse for Vare in the second half, obviously, especially shooting-wise, uh, and took some tough shots. Mitchell Robinson played him really well in that second half. So those are my thoughts on game one here in the next Sixers series. It was a beautiful game. I really loved watching that one. Had a really great atmosphere. Uh, had a really good feel to it. So, uh, yeah, the playoffs start off to a great start, man. As always, Bikantros went to others, and I'll catch you all next time.